Do you know what is the most earthquake resistant building material in the world? In a simulated scenario, we observed six different types of buildings. Mud houses, brick houses, unreinforced concrete houses, steel structure houses, reinforced concrete houses, and wooden houses. Let's see how they react under different levels of earthquakes. Magnitude 4.2 earthquake. At this level, most residents would be awakened from their sleep. From the simulation, we can see that houses built with unreinforced concrete showed noticeable shaking. Mud houses had chairs falling off the rooftop due to the tremors. However, overall, none of these buildings showed significant structural damage. Magnitude 5.1 Earthquake. At this level, people would feel strong vibrations, making it difficult to stand steadily. In the simulation, the brick-structured houses began to collapse from all sides under the earthquake's force, revealing their vulnerability. Mud houses developed visible cracks on the left side, further highlighting the fragility of mud and brick materials against earthquakes. Although concrete houses experienced significant shaking, they did not suffer any substantial damage. Magnitude 5.6 Although the increase from 5.1 to 5.6 seems minor, the destructive power crosses a critical threshold. At this level, the effects on brick and mud structures are particularly severe. In the simulation, all six buildings showed noticeable shaking. Mud and brick houses could not withstand the force and collapsed. Even concrete houses started to develop cracks on their walls. Magnitude 6.1 Earthquake Facing this level of earthquake, most houses would suffer varying degrees of damage. It would be difficult for people to walk steadily, and they would sway and stumble. In the simulation, mud houses and brick structures collapsed under the seismic force. Concrete houses performed better, but still could not fully withstand the earthquake. As for the other three types of structures, although the interior furniture showed significant shaking, the main structures remained intact without major damage. Magnitude 6.8 Earthquake At this level, people walking would instantly lose their balance and fall. Even railway tracks could bend under the intense shaking. In the simulation, mud, brick, and unreinforced concrete houses all collapsed. Wooden houses, though seemingly sturdy, suffered severe deformation on the second floors, making them uninhabitable. In comparison, steel structure houses and reinforced concrete houses experienced strong shaking but remained standing. Magnitude 7.5 Earthquake At this magnitude, people would feel a strong sense of being thrown into the air. Many buildings would suffer severe damage or be completely destroyed. Massive landslides would occur as well. In the simulation, even reinforced concrete structures began to collapse. Wooden houses were reduced to mere wooden frames. Although steel structures did not completely collapse, their stability was greatly compromised and could collapse at any moment. Among all building materials, steel structures remain the most effective in resisting earthquakes. However, if the earthquake reaches magnitude 8 or higher, no material would be able to withstand the destructive force. This deeply reminds us of the terrifying power of earthquake disasters. Based on previous simulation results and practical experience, it is clear that steel structures and reinforced concrete houses demonstrate excellent seismic performance. However, to further optimize building safety, efficiency, and durability, uh, we strongly recommend the combination of steel structure frameworks with fiber cement boards. Advantages of fiber cement boards. High strength and durability. Cement boards offer excellent mechanical strength with high resistance to impact cracking and environmental aging. Lightweight and high efficiency. Compared to traditional masonry materials, cement boards are significantly lighter, which reduces the overall load on the structure and improves seismic resilience. Moisture, fire, and pest resistance. Fiber cement boards are non-combustible, waterproof, and resistant to mold, mildew, and termites, ensuring long-term stability and lower maintenance costs. Versatile applications. They are suitable for both exterior and interior walls, ceilings, facades, and partitions, providing a smooth surface for uh, various finishing options. Environmentally friendly. Manufactured using eco-friendly materials, cement boards contribute to sustainable construction practices. Advantages of combining steel structures with fiber cement boards. Superior seismic performance. 
The flexible steel frame effectively absorbs and dissipates earthquake energy, while the lightweight, high-strength cement boards enhance the overall stability of the building. <laughs> Faster construction speed. Prefabricated steel components combined with easy-to-install cement boards significantly shorten the construction period. Cost optimization. Reducing the use of heavy concrete walls lowers foundation requirements and overall project costs without compromising safety. Modern design flexibility. The system allows for a wide range of architectural designs, including larger spans, open spaces, and innovative facades. In conclusion, the integration of steel structures with fiber cement boards represents the optimal solution for modern buildings, particularly in seismic regions. This combination not only ensures outstanding earthquake resistance, but also brings long-term durability, environmental benefits, and construction efficiency. Amulite, your green future starts here.